We've got a day off school next week to honor our veterans. It was a big week for McCarthy's new club, and the Maverick Drama Department kicks off their season. All this and more coming up on NBC News. Stay tuned. Hi, good morning, and welcome to NBC News. I have bronchitis. My name is Mrs. Gandrillas, and ain't nobody got time for that. Welcome back, Mavs, to this week's episode of NBC News. I'm Gabby Leon. And I'm Cody Croy. Thanks for joining us on the first week of November. When it's your friend's birthday, buying balloons and cupcakes is nice, but it's not unique. Make them feel extra special by giving them an on-air shout-out right here on NBC News. For $3, you can get 10 seconds of airtime for a birthday broadcast shout-out. You can stop by Room 411 on any Wednesday to record or send in your own video. You know what a week feels like it's never going to end? Well, you're in luck. We've got a half day today, which means we're out at 1, followed by a long weekend. That's right, Mavs. No school Monday or Tuesday, so make the best of it. Besides our NBC News cameras, you may have noticed some cameras around the school this week. Local 10 News toured our campus to do a news story on our groundbreaking and creative learning environment. The piece featured McCarthy's use of technology and innovative teaching styles. Moving from technology to athletics, here's Zach with the Mavs Sports Zone. Good morning, Mavericks, and welcome to this week's Maverick Sports Zone. I'm Zach Oliver. Here's what's going on in the world of Maverick Sports. It's finally here, Archbishop McCarthy. Our Maverick football team has their huge playoff game tonight. They travel to Key West to take on the Conks in their semifinal game of the Gold Coast League playoffs. Now shifting to our Lady Maverick soccer team, they had a huge win against Coral Springs in a 3-1 win last on Monday. And here's a recap of all the action. Hi, I'm Sabrina Sannon and I play for the Lady Mavericks varsity soccer team. I'm very excited about this upcoming season. We have a lot of great games to play. Hi, I'm Taylor Shore and I'm a senior on the varsity soccer team and I'd like to remind everyone to come out to our Sarcoma game December 18th. You can support us by coming out to our game and buying our t-shirts which will be available soon. It was a huge win for the Lady Mavs as you just saw and they hope to keep the train rolling as they travel to Venice, Florida this week as, as they take a, a huge tournament. We wish them all the best. And now it's time for Play of the Week. We're sticking in the old 305 this week. I had the whole town buzzing. Even though rally starting to set in for Heat fans that LeBron James is no longer with us, there is a new James in town. His name, James Ennis. In their home opener last week against the Washington Wizards, he posterized Rasul Butler and definitely had the whole Heat Nation buzzing. And that's all this week, Maverick Nation. I'm Zach Alberry, and have a great weekend. What's up, guys? I'm Ryan McCarty. And I'm Nicole Blundy. And today we'll be telling you guys what's happening around campus. To kick things off, a new club has been formed at our school called the Culture Club. This club celebrates all the different cultures of the world with food and music each month that is based off of that month's specific culture. Here's the club's founder, Christina Chi, to give us the inside scoop. Hello, I'm Christiana Chi and I'm the founder and president of the International Cultures Club. Our purpose is to spread different world cultures to our student body. 
Last week we celebrated Oktoberfest, which is a celebration of the German culture, and we would like to thank Publix for donating the food for our Oktoberfest celebration. Our mission is to recognize, educate, and celebrate the diverse ethnic and cultural diversity of our student body by highlighting food, music, dance, and cultural customs slash tra traditions to promote understanding, friendship, and acceptance to our different cultures. Thanks, Christina, and for all you out there who are interested in joining, make sure to talk to her because the dates and times vary. Everybody hold on to your hearts, or in my case, I'll just grab my earmuffs, because Taylor Swift's new album hit the shelves and was released on iTunes last week. Industry experts predicted that this album would only sell about 650,000 in its first week, but Taylor in 1989 won up that by selling over a million albums, making her the first artist to have three consecutive albums sell one million copies in the first weeks of its release. It looks like Taylor's decision to leave all streaming services was a sharp one. Can't wait to hear who she broke up with this time. This fall, our very own Maverick players will be starting their season with the premiere of A Few Good Men. The play is about numerous military lawyers who are defending a group of U.S. Marines that were accused of murder. During the riveting hearing, the lawyers uncover a high-level conspiracy related to the case. Unfortunately, that's all we're allowed to give out to you guys. So if you want to know more, you'll have to attend one of the shows. The shows will be airing on November 20th, 21st, and 22nd at 7 p.m. If you can't make that show, there will be one more on the 23rd at 2 p.m. The shows will be performed in the Maverick Theater with an admission charge of $10 for students and $15 for adults. This week on Mav and the Mic, Armand Saduri and Joseph Devine went around asking you guys your questions. Some people have better days than others, but here at NBC News, we want to know what's your biggest pet peeve. I never have time to go to the bathroom between classes. Um, not being able to like dress down. Is that after our football team would win a game, everybody would be saying how much they support us, how much they always stood behind us. But then after we lose a game, then they'll be talking trash behind their back, saying that we're really a bad football program. I second that. Hey man, hallelujah. When they lock the bathrooms after school. When people walk slow in the hallways, it uh, ticks me off, you know, grinds my gears. Well, uh, besides the robotics team. <laughs> what really grinds my gears is when students do not wear the ID. My biggest pet peeve is when people talk over you. When someone throws submarine, when you uh, throw it really weird, like under your body, it really gets to me. Uh, canvas. Uh, mostly because it just gives me a lot of problems. When I go to Starbucks during the holiday seasons and they give me the white cup instead of the holiday cup. Well, that does it for me on the teal carpet. I'm Ryan McCarty. And I'm Nicole Blundy. Have a terrific weekend, everyone. Back to you, Gabby. Now keeping up with our newest segment, Feel Good Friday, we've got a hilarious viral video clip credited straight to Jimmy Kimmel. For the past few years, he has asked parents to record their children's reactions the day after Halloween, after parents told them they ate all their Halloween candy. Take a look. Last night, I ate all your candy. Why? Because it was good. <laughs> you ruined my life! <laughs> yeah, we ate it all while you were sleeping. Oh man, I'm gonna eat it all. I'm gonna eat it all. J Jimmy Kimmel said I should eat all your candy. Okay? Okay, I'm gonna eat it all. Yeah, I'm gonna eat it. Okay, this is for me. Well, let's see. Jimmy Kimmel said I should eat this too. Okay. Okay, I think I'll eat it. All of it? All of it. Every single bite? Yeah. You must have a bellyache. <laughs> I got hungry last night. Eat an apple! <laughs> Those aren't real drawers, buddy. Get out. We ate all the candy. <laughs> we'll get some more next time. Don't worry. Do you? Yeah, I'm like, sorry. 
sorry. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I would freak out if someone took my Halloween candy. Yeah, if my parents took my candy, it wouldn't end so well. <laughs> Before we go, we'd like to take a moment to express gratitude and appreciation for all of our veterans out there. If it weren't for you, we would not be the United States of America. Well, Mavericks, we hope you had a great week and enjoy the gifts of this long weekend. I'm Gabby Leon. And I'm Cody Croy. Thanks for tuning in on this week's episode of NBC News. Have a great day. No, but really, I would freak out. I would freak out. <laughs> I love candy. <laughs> it's so true, though. I would have a heart attack. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> it makes me happy. <laughs> I don't like I, I like this one. Can I eat it? Can I eat it? I'm not allowed to have stuff with caramel. It like the bracelet.